Hello and welcome to Floss Tube number two. My name's Laura Clark and my Instagram handles are Butterfly Stitches 83 and my small business making handmade cross stitch accessories, which is Cotton and Clay UK. Um, yeah, I'm back. Second Floss Tube. I'm so excited. Um, I just need to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has given my channel a shout out um, and who has subscribed and liked and commented. Um, I am like just so grateful. I cannot believe it. Like when I put the first Floss Tube out, I genuinely expected to get at best 50 subscribers. I thought, oh, you know, if I can get 50 or 50 views even, then that would be amazing. Um, and I got a lot more <laughs> and um, loads of lovely comments, loads of shout outs um, in other people's flush tubes. Um, it's just been like amazing. And I'm like so grateful and yeah, just oh, makes me so happy um, and make me even more excited to come back and do a second video. So that was just brilliant. Um, I really need to say special thank you to the Floss Tubers who gave me a shout out. I'm like, just like so grateful. And you sent loads of viewers over to watch my video and it was brilliant. So I'm really sorry if I've not known about everyone that I think tagged me and that I knew about, um, I've got on my list, but I'm so sorry if you mentioned it and I haven't mentioned you. Um, so I know Emma X Stitching, um, she gave me a lovely shout out. Flossy sews and grows. Um, uh, Yaz, Yasmin's handmade with love. Charlie feathers and oh, Mama loves you, GB as well. Like, thank you so much to all of you um, for sending your viewers my way. Like, I'm so grateful. Um, yeah, and make sure you check out all their channels because I watch all of their channels too, and they're brilliant. Um, just let you let me give you an update on what we're gonna what I'm gonna talk about today so I've got oh what's my plan so I've got two new finishes um no I've got three new finishes because I finished one this morning which I've dead chuffed about um and then I've got two new starts um I've got an update on my whips from the last video and if we've got time I'll continue my sort of older whip parade um like I started in the first video um and then I've also got quite a bit of haul which let's be honest, is everyone's favourite thing to watch on Floss Tube. Well, unless it's just me, I love watching the haul and getting all like jealous and then going out and buying it myself. <laughs> um, so I've got a fair bit of haul, including three patterns um, that I, from the new releases at um, Nashville Needlework Market, which I managed to snag from um, Peakside Needlecraft, who by the way, sent them out so quick. Like I think Nashville had barely finished and they was already on my doorstep. So that was just brilliant. Um, and at the end, I've got a little cotton and clay giveaway, um, just to say thank you so much to everyone who watched me. I can't, still can't believe it. Uh, everyone who watched me and commented and, and recommended and everything else. Um, so I'm so excited. So I'm doing a little giveaway of some of my, um, stitching accessories that I make in my Etsy shop. So, um, stay tuned till the end. Um, and I'll show you what I'm giving away. Um, Right, let's crack on, shall we? Otherwise, we'll be here all day because I've got a massive pile of stitching. <laughs> um, first of all, I want to show you some old previous finishes. First of all, I've got something super special <laughs> that my mum actually found uh, for me when she was clearing out loads of stuff um, in my in the house of mine, and she found this and thought that I might like it, and I'm like chuffed because I now can show you guys. So this is the first ever cross stitch that I did um, as a child. And it's this sweet little panda um, with a little L for Laura. Um, it is like, it's such a mess, but I'm so, I think to be fair, I was only about maybe 11, maybe 12, I think when I stitched this, but this was like where I learned to cross stitch and the first time I'd ever tried it. So um, it's super special and I'm really glad that my mum found it. I mean, look at this back, like look at all them threads. <laughs> um, but you know, it's not bad considering I was effectively like a kid. So um, I'm quite chuffed and I'm so happy to have like my first ever one. So really chuffed about that. Um, bit more recent times, I've got a more recent um, previous finish. Um, I'm not sure when I actually finished this one, but it was probably a year or two ago now. 
Oh, that's found a bit of muck on it, but never mind. Right, so this one, and it's actually a fully finished item, which almost never happens with me, to be honest. In recent, recently, I've got a massive pile of stuff that's finished, but not FFO'd. would um, So it's quite nice to show some, <laughs> some things from when I did FFO. Um, so this is Spread Sunshine by Little Stitch Girl. Um, it, the actual original pattern has the words spread sunshine here, um, but I decided to leave them off and just do the sunflower. And I'll bring it in a bit closer. It's really pretty light because it's this real lovely gingham. I think their series is called, yeah, I think their series is called Gingham and Plaid, um, which it certainly is. And yeah, I absolutely loved working on this um because stitching that gingham was just really really fun um and the effect that it gives especially then when you pull it back um of it all being made from gingham, gingham fabric is just lovely um so yeah highly recommend this pattern it's just ada um i think it's 14 count rustico i think is probably what it was stitched on and then i finished it on um this was just a sign that i found it wasn't a plain paddle it was a sign i think i found it in I don't know the range or hobby craft or somewhere like that um that it had it had some messaging on from like a in the homeware section um so i painted it this nice um sagey green color <clears throat> um then i just wrapped my stitching on some card and then did a backing piece in this green kind of nice green fabric wrapped that on some cards stuck them on top of each other and then this little embellishment i think i just grabbed out of my endless craft supplies of stuff that I've bought in the past um, and made use of it and then just added a bit of floss to the top to hang it up and I have this hanging in my kitchen. Uh, yeah, so that's my previous finish uh, for today. That, as I say, Spread Sunshine by Little Stitch Girl. Um, they also have a floss tube. What's the name of their floss tube? Floss tube isn't called Little Stitch Girl. I'll, I'll remember it and I'll put it in the um, notes down below. Um, but yeah, so I really love that one. A bit autumnal, but who cares? Showing it today anyway. Um, so that's my previous finishes. My new finishes. Love a new finish. Uh, so I showed you this one last time. Uh, I think I showed you, it was about half, one of them was done last time. And now I've done both. So this is the um one of our stitch in london freebies that we got last year um it's from a girl with a gavel stitches and um it was part of our like um goodie kit that we got when we came into stitch in london um i think last time i'd only done the birds i think or maybe i'd started this part um and then this bottom part just says stitch in london 2023 and the border's the same the pattern actually um Oh, someone in the comments told me what it was called, and now I've already forgotten what what the finish is called. Oh, I'm so st oh, st stupid. I should have paid attention. Someone in the comments kindly told me what the original pattern that it's like a square oblong um, kind of finish, pin cushion finish, and they told me what it was called, and now I've instantly forgotten it. So I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I'm not doing it. The fan P uh, mattress mattress finish. Yay. <laughs> Came to me in the end. I think that's what it's called. Um, I think that's what it's called for, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it into two um, smaller, uh, normal little pillows um, and just choose some backing fabric to go on the back. So I've um, got quite a few pillows that I'm going to hopefully finish this year. So I'll have a little basket going on. Um, but yeah, so this is Twin Bird, whoop, Twin Bird Pillow by Girl with a Gavel. And um, we got it in Stitch in London, but um, it is also available in her... Um, shop as well now if you wanted to buy it separately but yeah i absolutely love it oh and i stitched it using roxy floss roxy floss um flosses i believe and this fabric is some um hand dyed 14 count from the stitchy ferret who does lots of amazing fabrics by the way so you need to check her out uh right next new finish so these are part of a series um i'll show you the first one that i finished actually finished last month and let me put it a bit nearer and then this is the one that i finished this month these are all going to be uh, pillows as well um so this is um yasmin handmade with loves um stitch along for this year that she's um running on her patreon um, so I'm a member of her pa Patreon and I 
love it. I think I mentioned it in the last video. Um, one thing I've learned about this floss tube thing is you forget what you mentioned in the last video. So I'm so sorry if I end up like repeating myself or worse, the opposite, saying I mentioned something when I didn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm a member of her Patreon and it is so great and so worth the money and she gives you so many patterns as part of your patreon membership um one of which is a new pattern each month for this year long stitch along uh so as you see the oh i just remembered that actually i ran out of thread when i was doing this so there's a few stitches missing at the bottom here which i need to finish but yeah that was the first part part one which we got in um january i guess we got that and then this was part two and then we've got the part three one um, as part of our March patterns, um, which I'm going to be working on hopefully later this week. Um, this is stitched on 16 count fiber on a whim in brick, which I think is actually the called for um, fabric. Well, it's certainly the fabric Yaz. Oh no, Yaz is stitching on the, it's the same, but the even weave version. Um, but yeah, fiber on a whim brick, which is a really cool, kind of like mottled terracotta really really nice so yeah that was another little finish and my third thin finish for this video is I actually finished this morning so I wanted to finish it to show today and it's this beauty so happy to have finished this one so this is the owl from um cottage garden samplings uh, a year in the woods series let me bring him a bit nearer. Um, he's so beautiful and I've had so much fun stitching him. Um, especially, I have to admit the owl was much more fun to stitch than all of these branches. But this, this bit here was the bit I was doing today and it's, yeah, it for some reason was taking me much longer. But the owl itself, I absolutely loved stitching him. Um, and this is on 14 count mint fabric by Picture This Plus. Um, so this is actually the second one of that series that I've done. Um, I've brought the first one. Again, I finished this last year, but I thought since this was the, per the part of the same series, I'd show you this. So that was the owl. This is the fox. Oh, that's the barn owl. This is the fox. Um, this is also Picture This Plus. Uh, truthfully, I can't remember colour of this one off the top of my head. Um, I made a bit of a mess up in terms of I was going to, I wanted to do three, there's 12 altogether, 12 different animals, and I wanted to do three of them and display them all together. <laughs> but like an idiot, I've stitched my fox on 16 count and then accidentally stitched the owl on um, 14 count. And I realised about a quarter of the way in because I realised the owl was loads bigger. Um, but by that point, I was like, you know what? We're just going to go with it. So I am still going to do a third. I think I'm going to possibly do, there's a beaver or a jackrabbit. I'm going to pick one of those two. Um, and I'm going to have to find a third size, I think, so that I can have three all different sizes to display. Um, but that means kind of going for 18 count. And I, I can't stand working on 18 count because it's too small for my terrible eyesight. Um, or maybe I'll do one on, now I've started even weave, maybe I'll do one on like 25 count even weave. That would be then a different, yeah. So 14 is the equivalent of 28. So yeah, that would then be a different, but then that would be quite big. I don't know. I don't know. I've got to think about that. Um, I don't have the third pattern yet anyway, and I haven't decided which one. But um, but I was very, very happy to finish the owl because they're just, they're absolutely beautiful. And she's got a beautiful, uh, Cottage Garden Samplings have got a beautiful um, series out this year as well, which I think is also gonna be 12, I think there's one every month, um, which is all different like cottages or different um, buildings. So I think the, the first one was Santa and the current one is like a little cottage. Oh, I'm doing a terrible job explaining, but yeah, Cottage Garden Samplings, make sure you go and check them out. The, the Year in the Woods series is those ones and they're brilliant. And then the current series looks like it's shaping up to be absolutely gorgeous as well. So um, yeah, that was my final finish for this uh, this month. Uh, so new starts, my favourite thing. Who doesn't love a new start? Um, and I only I think this was in my haul for last video, um, and I started it like straight away because I just love it. So you know that I'm obsessed with Barbara Anna already. That's pretty obvious. Um, so I bought the Floral Dreams. 
absolutely love her and started it and I've already done a fair bit because I was just completely hooked there she is I've really got to get better at showing without covering my face it's a new skill that I'm gonna to have to learn um yeah so I've done the lady and the cat and a little bit of one of the leaves and uh, so now I've got all the flowers to do around the edge um this fabric is 14 count surfs up um hand dyed by roxy floss um available through epitote um and i added a little bit of you can't really see but i added a little bit of metallic gold uh so the finish i showed you in the previous video which is called winged dreams i think um it actually called for a tiny bit of gold um so now i've kind of and i think it was the key so now i've kind of decided that when i do all the dreaming girls and i do want to do all of the dreaming girls because they're all beautiful <laughs> whether i ever will get around to doing all of them i don't know um, But every time i do one of the dreaming girls i think i'm going to add a little bit of metallic and make that a thing so on this one i've done her earrings and the key and this little bit which i think is a necklace um in metallic gold the yellow on here is a called for um dmc satin floss and i have to admit when i touched just I didn't really know what satin floss was and when I looked at it and touched it I instantly was like oh I don't want to stitch with this because it's got this really artificial feeling texture and it like frays instantly it just seems like a horrendous nightmare and there's quite a lot of it because basically all the yellow in the flowers um however I wanted to stick with it because I figured that she Barbara picked that for a reason um so I've gone for it and actually I really like how it looks because it really seems to like make that yellow really pop and look really bright um so I'm gonna stick with it and um, I think I've just got to like go quite slowly when I'm stitching with it because it feels like it could um look quite like it could make your stitches quite um sort of messy looking if you don't really focus um so yeah I just need to make sure I keep them tight enough and um and neat so I'll just go slowly on that. But um, really pleased with how she's looking so far. Uh, so that's Barbara Anna Floral Dreams. And my other new start is super exciting because I'm doing it as a stitch along. Um, so you might remember from my previous video, I just started the Spring Robin um, from Pigeon Coop Designs. Um, and then I saw, and I'd been admiring this swan, um, and I thought, oh, I really want to, kind of want to get that as well. Like, I want to do that one as well. Anyway, then I saw that some of the girls were doing it as a stitch along, and I was like, of course, I'm in, I'm in. So this is the pattern. Blooming swan. So, so pretty. And, um, yeah. And I've joined the sale and this is how far I've got. So I've been going fairly fast on it because, excuse all the, uh, this is literally a whip I'm working on this right now, hence why it's all in the hoop and everything. Um, I've gone quite far, I think because I'm doing it as a stitch long, that makes me, you know, stitch a bit quicker. Um, so I think I've done a fair bit. There's still a lot of white filling in here and then a little bit more on the swan and then there's yeah the flowers around the edge and then the water a little bit of water um, but I don't think it should be too bad um the fabric is 28 count Swigart blue spruce oh say that fast <laughs> Swigart blue spruce <laughs> um and I love it I think the fabric is really pretty I was worried it was going to be too dark um but actually I think it looks pretty good and um it might be a little bit dark when I come to do the, the greens and the blue of the water but if so I'll just swap my floss for slightly lighter ones really pleased with that having so much fun on the chat with the other girls doing the the stitch along I've never actually done a stitch along like that with like you know one that's been set up separately to what the the designers set up and it's been really lovely getting to know the other girls on the stitch along so big shout out to them if you want to join um i mean clearly i've still got plenty to do so you could and i know others have as well i think we've got one finish in the stitch along so far 
maybe two, um, then just use the hashtag uh, blooming swan sal, blooming swan S A L, uh, and uh, we'll find you and you can join us. And then because I was so excited about doing the stitch along, I've um, added a little swan needle minder to my Etsy shop. So I've had swan on my list. I have a little list of all the things I want to make into needle minders. And I've had swan on there for ages. And this kind of just gave me the um, the motivation to do it. So quickly ordered the, the thing and got her made. Um, so let me bring her a bit closer. Oh, it's not going to focus if I do that. Uh, so yeah, three different types of white clay there's like a pearly one and a glittery one and then i've added the little bits of dot art in pink and orange there to match this pattern so it really goes with it but um and the girls are so sweet i think nearly everyone is a stitch long probably is everyone and then went and ordered one from me which was super sweet so um so they're all using their little swan which is really nice um yeah and so these are available in my shop um if you want to get a hold of one of them. Uh, so this is Blooming Swan by Pigeon Coop Designs. Um, and yeah, please come join us on the uh, Stitch Along because it's a lot of fun. Uh, that's my new start. Yes. Um, so I'll show you the, um, I'll show you my whips from, that I showed you last time. And then if we've got a bit of time, I'm going to show you some older whips as well from um, sort of the continuation of my whip parade. Um, so, Continuing with the theme of pigeon coop, um, this is the one I was just talking about, the spring uh, spring robin, and I'd only just started it um, on the last floss tube, and then this is where I'm at now. Let me bring it a bit nearer. Again, so much fun to stitch. Um, it's just really satisfying. Um, the greys, I'm using all the called for colours for the grey. Um, just because they're all kind of the same tone and I wanted them to like, you know, look good. Um, but the orange and the yellow um, I've just grabbed from, and the green at the top there, I've just grabbed from my stash. Um, yeah, so I've done the one wing. I've just got the tail, the other wing, and I've got a few, there's a few more of these green bits to put on the bottom and then that'll get finished in a hoop or a nice round finish. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm loving it. And then this is... Oh, this is 28 count but I can't remember for the life of me yeah I can't remember what color this is but um yeah I've really enjoyed it and it's really making me love even weave like I'm I'm doing a lot on even weave now and I've really got used to it and um yeah this one especially I think because it's the light color I'm finding it really fun to stitch um so kind of hoping that might be a finish next time I see you but we'll see so that's um spring robin uh, pigeon coop designs and i've actually ordered his book as well um so i'll put a pre-order i don't think it's coming till august um because just based on his existing patterns i know i want the book so i've ordered the book as well uh right next whip so this is flip and lola by yaz yasmin's handmade with love that's how it's going to look and this is where i'm at There we go. So I think last time I saw you, I'd done the bird. Uh, is, this, is, this, is this flip? or I think this is flip. <laughs> Can't remember which is which. Uh, yeah, I did say. Um, so I've done all this border here and these, these little bits. Um, oh, and I think I'd left his tail off as well. So I've done that now as well. Um, and that was, yeah, I love working on this one so so much fun uh this fabric is candy apple uh 28 count again from uh roxy floss uh, evertote absolutely beautiful love stitch oh and all the flosses are roxy floss as well absolutely love it there's that one plan to have at least the rest of this border maybe done by next time i see you but We'll see. I feel like if I make these promises on a flush tube, it will help me to stay motivated. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Uh, right. I've also made some progress on this one. So this is Honey of a Tiny Town. There it is. 
And then I'd done the one house and the one lot of sunflowers last time. So now I've done, oops, hang on a minute. Must have been sitting differently last time, you know, because I was finding it much easier than I am now to show you. Um, yeah, so I'd done this one last time. Now I've done the blue house and this flower here. Just pop it out. You can't really see in this light, but there's got a lot, quite a bit of variegation on here as well, which is really nice. I forget the name of the thread. Um, it is Blue Jeans, Weeks Diet Works Blue Jeans, and it's got a really nice subtle variegation, which is lovely. So yeah, really enjoying working on that. Um, there's so many others in this series that I want. Um, including some new ones that have just come out. But I think the next one I want is, there's a seaside one. I think I'm, there's either the seaside or the blooming, the flowers one. So definitely, definitely gonna have to collect more from that series. Oh, I didn't say who it was from. You will know this design anyway. Yeah, so Honey of a Tiny Town from Heart in Hand. Um, so that's, all the progress I made on whips from last time and finishes from last time. Um, so yeah, let me show you. I've pulled out a few more from my sort of more longer term whips to show you. Um, some of them I stitch on quite regularly and some of them not so regularly. So I just thought I'd show you them. So first of all, so this is actually a series and I've done three of them. So I've got the fourth one to do. So this is Day Signs by Tiny Modernist. Really beautiful, amazing colours. I think it was the colours that mostly, it was the colours and this guy that mostly drew me in. Oh God, is he a llama or a camel? He's got to be a llama, right? Because he's not got a hump. <laughs> I've been calling him a llama. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's just dawned on me. So yeah, so I've done three of the four. So I've done the camel slash llama. This is just um, antique white, 40 count, 14 count. Um, mostly called four colors. In fact, I think this might all be called four colors on this one, just because I love the color so much. So I just went with it. So I've done him. Then I did this lo this lovely one with the like pyramids. I just love the design so much. It's like so, it's like partly real, partly kind of whimsy. Love it. I love the, the my favorite bit on here is the cloud with the little rainbows and things hanging off. And then more recently, I finished this one with the sun and the feathers and the little cactus, cacti. Um, so I've got the rainbow left to do. So just this fourth one, which looks really fun to do. I love rainbows. And then I'm going to display them. I might display them kind of like this, to be honest. I quite like how she's done it on like one piece. I might do like one long piece, maybe. Um, yeah, who am I kidding? That's if I actually do any final finishing. Um, maybe one day I'll do a video and it's just going to be me showing you my pile of finished but not FFO'd pieces because, I mean, that's about four videos in itself, to be totally honest with you. Um, so that is Day Signs by Tiny Modernist. Uh, this one, oh my gosh, I have, oh, I feel terrible that this isn't finished because, I don't know why, I don't know why I feel, it's, you know, it's only me who's uh, been you know, <laughs> who needs who should care? But I was just I love it so much and I was gonna um I was really determined to finish it the year it was brought out. Um but I haven't picked it up for a long time and I need to. So this is actually black work. I don't think it's officially black work because I think official proper black work is meant to be like reversible. <laughs> this ain't <laughs> definitely isn't reversible um but it's called black work you know it's just lots and lots of um of uh 
running stitch or back stitch really. I'm just going to bring it, I'm just going to not care about not showing my face and bring this a lot closer because it's so pretty to look at. So this is Peppermint Purple and it's one of her stitch alongs and I now feel terrible because I can't remember if it was last year's or 2022. I think it was actually 2022, uh, but I'll look that up and put it underneath. Um, so we had one of these little rectangles for every month of the year. So I think I'm up to say September, something like that. So I really don't have that much more to do. Um, and the layout I picked, there was various layouts to choose from. The layout I picked is kind of, ends up kind of like a, almost a diamond shape, I think. Um, but yeah, I think it was the 2022 uh, Peppermint Purple Sal. Um, so yeah, I really don't have, I really, I've certainly broken the back of it. So I really just need to finish it. And the main thing I love about it is the floss. So this floss is again by um, the Stitchy Ferret. So this is all one floss. It's a hand dyed floss. It's got loads and loads of variegation. Um, so it just gives this effortless, beautiful color from one floss, uh, one style of floss. So yeah, I, I love it so much. Um, so that's my main reason for needing to finish it is just because I love showcasing this floss. It's so beautiful. And then it's just a navy 14 count Ada. So yeah, this is one that every month I say I'm going to stitch on that. I'm going to stitch on that. And I, and I just, for some reason, I think because it's, because it's black work and I have to like each little, as you can see, each little, um, rectangle has got a different pattern and I have to like pay attention. I can't watch telly or do anything else whilst doing it. I have to, I have to actually concentrate. And I think that's why but it's so nice and i really need to finish it so that's why i put it in my whip parade today because i thought that might inspire me to do a bit more to show you next time so hopefully hopefully we'll be there i think she's got a current stitch along as well for this year um she certainly had one last year so i think i haven't looked at her instagram for a while but i think she must have one for this year as well so highly recommend i did her 2020 um blackwork stitch along as well which is which is finished <laughs> um which i can't show you because in the other room which is which is really really fun as well same sort of idea but different shape and colors um yeah she's got lots of beautiful patterns um especially if you're into if you're into black work highly recommend um another one i've got is i've got quite a few um innocent bones in my whip box at the moment um i'm only showing you one of them today because um they're part of her uh subscription box which is called mm, having a mental block on what her subscription um box is called no nope, I'll, I'll put it down below brain's not working sorry about that um and so because i was subscribing for quite a while i've got quite a few innocent bones um ones that either i haven't started or i'm part way through um i'm only showing this one because the other's because you don't get a pattern to show and they, they've not only got a few stitches in, so I don't think it's worth it, but you can get the gist from this one. Um, so this is called Poison Garden. Um, and I should be able to get this finished quite soon because um, mood, mood, bo mood boxes, that's what it's called. Why am I having, why is my brain having delayed reaction today? <laughs> But yeah, her subscription service is called um, Mood and you get a box every two months and you get, um, you get the pattern, the floss, the hoop, backing fabric um, and then loads of cute little um, like presents and stuff that come with it. Like sometimes you get little pin badges, sometimes you'll get stationery, sometimes you'll get wax melts or whatever but it's usually themed to whatever that theme is um a lot of her patterns are kind of like witchy or like dark but in a cute way um there's quite usually quite a lot of florals and stuff um so if you're into that kind of i call it witchy celestial style i don't know if that's the proper way of describing it but if you're into that i really reckon and you love getting like subscribing and getting like a little treat every month i really recommend um so yeah i'm gonna try and finish this one um because i've only got it's basically just one more bottle here and then a little bit around the edge so it shouldn't take me too long um they're all really quick stitches as well like doesn't take you long 
Um, so yeah, super cute. And that's Innocent Bones. Um, she does, if you're not in the, if you're not subscribed, um, she does then, when she has extra boxes, she puts them on her website and you can get hold of them. I'm not sure if this particular one is on there yet, but you can usually get hold of them. Um, or if you subscribe, you can then get into like the VIP area and get hold of like previous boxes or previous patterns from previous boxes which I've done previously as well so um yeah really love it I've actually I actually cancelled my subscription just about a month ago purely because I've got so many now I think I've got so behind so I think I've finished since I subscribed I think I finished three or four and I've got like another three or four as whips so I want to catch up and then I think when I've caught up I'm going to subscribe again um yeah so loving it love that one and I'm gonna th I think because I've got so many. When they're all done, I'm going to have like a whole little corner of hoops for Innocent Bones because I think they, they would all go together really beautifully as well. <clears throat> oh, this one's a bit different. Oops. So this is a design from... Oh, this is a stitch along that was part of Fat Quarter Shop called Heartfelt. Bring it a bit nearer. Um, this was a stitch along, I think, again, I'm not sure when, maybe last year. Um, and I'm just going to do part of it. So, cause I've got so many, um, <laughs> whips, um, I've decided that I'm just going to do this one slightly differently. Like quite often, if I think a pattern's a bit big or too much to handle with all the other whips I've got going on. I sort of um, emit like a, modify it a little bit or like only stitch a certain part of it. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. So yeah, so that's the, the whole shebang if you wanted to finish the whole thing. Um, it's Heartfelt Sal if you want to check the hashtag, hashtag Heartfelt Sal um, from Fat Quarter Shop. And then I'm going to do one long skinny piece. So, if you can see, I started it off. This is 14 count Rustico Spygart. Um, and I've basically just chosen, I'm basically just gonna pick my favorite little hearts and then do one long strip and then sort of continue it to make one long piece. So eventually it's gonna be about yay high and I'm probably just gonna do it like display it as a real long piece maybe on like um uh, like a bell pull or something along them lines um but that's as far as I've got so far but it's a really satisfying stitch to work on and really again really nice colors I think I'm using most of the called for colors here because I really loved the grays and the pinks and the lime green together and finally my final whip is one I haven't had out for a really long time and I need to crack on with it. <clears throat> Oops. And this is Rumble in the Jum Jungle from Hannah Handmakes. I love Hannah Handmakes. Her style is so sort of cute and bold and always beautiful colors. Um, there was two versions of this. Um, and there was like a larger version and a smaller one. I've chosen the smaller one, um, but it is still taking a fair bit of time because it is basically full coverage. Um, and I stitched from stash. And I think part of the reason that I've had it in my whips for a while is because I stitched from stash and then I wasn't overly chuffed with some of the colors, like some of the brown and purple, I just don't think it pops enough, but that was my own fault for, for stitching, <laughs> for just choosing from my stash and not choosing very well. Um, but I am going to persevere because it's really pretty and I love the leopard. Um, and the finish that Hannah suggested for it and that a lot of people have done is actually turned it into like, um, a project bag or a, like a pencil case, or they turned the whole thing into a, like a bag and it looks brilliant and it would be quite nice to challenge myself. I'm not good at finishing and I'm not good at sewing. I can stitch, but not sew. <laughs> um, so I'd quite like to finish it that way just to kind of prove that I can. <laughs> um, so yeah, so again, just like with the peppermint purple one, I've pulled this one out to inspire me to um, 
sort of crack on with it. Uh, this fabric is a 14 count and I got it in a um, like a mystery bag and I wasn't really sure if I was going to use it with the little fish bones on so I thought perfect I'll use it for this because it's full coverage. Um, so that will cover all that up so works perfectly for that. So yeah that's Rumble in the Jungle by Hannah Hand Makes. And I really recommend her because she's got her, loads of her patterns. I've done loads of hers in the past. They're all br brilliant, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so that is new starts done, whips done, older whips done. <laughs> Where are we? Haul, yay. Best bit, love a bit of haul. This is quite a bit for me. I mean, this might not be a, a lot for anyone else, but I don't, well... I do buy, I do buy a lot, I buy too much, but um, I don't usually buy this like many patterns in a month. Um, but hey, what can I say? They're all beautiful, so it's fine. So first of all, I've picked three um, from the, that were released recently as part of the Nashville Needlework Market. I pre-ordered them from Peakside Needlecrafts um it was brilliant so they basically they i've not done that before um i'm always a bit late to the party with nashville and then i see it all and then it's all sold out and i'm like, oh, stupid um but i was determined this year because there were so many nice patterns that i wanted um so yeah basically peakside had a note on their website that said we're going to nashville if you've if you've seen anything you want, you know, let us know and we can do a pre-order which is what i did for these three because i knew they were all gonna sell out and be like popular ones at, from nashville and then, as I say, I reckon I had them, like, they shipped them off so quickly after that. So they said, we've got them. I paid the invoice. And I reckon that I had them within, like, a day or something. It was brilliant. So chuffed. So the first one is the blue flower in praise of pollinators. Let me bring it a bit closer. The main thing I love about this is the theme. that So every creature on there, I can't really see it that well here. Every creature on here is a pollinator of some kind. Um, and I absolutely love that whole like concept. It's just brilliant. And then the actual individual motifs are lovely. Like this bird is so pretty. The butterfly, it's just all beautiful. Um, it is quite big. <laughs> I think it's, uh, what's the finish size? 165 by 195 stitches um which is i don't usually well as you can see i don't do a lot of like really high stitch count stuff um but i think it's really pretty and i think it would make a really good like framed heirloom piece um so yeah this is and it's blue flower stitching first time i've ever bought one of their patterns but then had a look and loads of beautiful stuff so um highly recommend so if you can get hold of this one i say go for it might, this one might still be available on Peakside, actually. Not sure. But yeah, absolutely love it. So it's the blue flower in praise of pollinators. I'm just going to bring it a bit nearer so you can have another quick look. It's like the bear and, oh, it's just so nice. And then all of this. Oh, there's a bat at the top. There's just so much going on. You can just, you can look at it for ages and then see different things. Um, and I love the message, you know, like that we've got to um, value our pollinating creatures. So yeah, beautiful. So that was my first one from the Nashville releases. Second one, I swear nearly everyone's going to stitch this and with good reason. So this is Hands On Design Botanical Bee. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. So pretty. And it's like a real unusual take on a bee as well. Like, as I said to you guys last time, I love anything like bee related in fact one of the others on this pile has also got bees in um so i have to show you like all my bee patterns at some point because i've got loads and i know a lot of people love stitching bees but and i love stitching bees with the traditional colors but i love that this is just totally different um and i love that it's got all these flowers part of it and and the pop on that fabric is so nice i mean everything that they design at hands on design is just Everything she designs is beautiful. Um, but this one in particular, I love it. And I think it was one of the best sellers as well from uh, from uh, Nashville. Um, so I'm probably gonna start, I might start this very soon because I've already got the fabric because I realized I can use the other half of my Surf's Up fabric from Roxy Floss because that is like 
almost perfect for this background. Um, and I think the colours are quite simple, so I'll just stitch from stash. So that'll be quite a good, easy, quick start. So I um, plan on starting that very soon. So yeah, I hope I'm doing some enabling here because I don't see how anyone would not want to buy this one, to be totally honest with you. And then the third one is Primrose Cottage, who I love, 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 love. Um, I just want to stitch everything of theirs. And it's their book, 12 Monthly Minis. Bring it near. So pretty. So there's 12 patterns in here. Uh, one for every month of the year, obviously. Um, I meant to put post-its on all these patterns before we had this video so that I could show you them individually. But I forgot, because I'm like that. Let me just pick a really cool one and then I'll just show you that. Uh, what about... Okay, so look, we're talking about bees. What about the bee one? Oops. So, yeah, August's pattern. It's <laughs> so pretty. Oh, you can't even see anyway. It's little. It's got little bees on it. Oh, sorry. Flash the pattern there anyway. Um, yeah, see, they're really small. I think they're only... Uh, yeah, 39 by 39 stitch count. So, like, really tiny. Um, but so cute. And I really love how they're like displaying them here in this little um kind of little set of drawers um and then also the picture on the back looks great as well where it's they're displayed in like a um little tray and i've got loads of stuff like this that i get because every time i go into like the range or hobby lobby i have to pick up different things um so i've got things i can display on oh, this is a beautiful display as well look so there's at least three display ideas just in the book but yeah i love them absolutely love them um and the only the only doubt it's not a downside because i think it's beautiful but quite often when you get patterns from the us um their july is usually patriotic because obviously because fourth of july and i love patriotic stuff and i it makes me wish i was american just so i could stitch it but i kind of feel weird stitching it because you know i'm not american however the july one is so pretty in this arm stick oh uh, for a minute i thought oh can i adapt this into union jacks <laughs> same colors right um but no i'm going with it who cares i love it i love it so much um so yeah i'm going for it but um i made a big my biggest mistake in ordering these is i should have got the um primrose cottage spring quaker uh which is i think well, I can't find it anywhere, so it must be really, really popular um, Nashville release. And uh, you've probably seen it. It's a little Quaker pattern in a purple colour. It's so beautiful. It's everywhere on Instagram at the moment. And I ummed and ahed over ordering it when I ordered these three. And I, I didn't because I've, I've already got the Bee Quaker and the Autumn Quaker in my to-do box. And I thought, oh, no, do them ones first and then go back and get the winter and spring one. And then I instantly have got, like what is it they call it buyer's remorse I've got not buyer's remorse <laughs> because once these three arrived I was like oh why didn't I get the spring Quaker I was so stupid um now you can't get it for love no money um but I did speak to Pixar yesterday and actually they said um that they are going to get it back in as soon as it's available so I will be getting my hands on that one eventually but yeah so that was my three from Nashville releases I also ordered another one from the lovely Yaz I've been looking at this for ages and I was going to wait until um, I finished Fred and Layla, Fred and Fred and Lola, um, Flip, Flip and Lola. What is the matter with me today? Flip and Lola. Um, and I was going to wait until I finished that one and then kind of get their other bird one. But uh, I couldn't I couldn't resist any longer. So I've gone for it. Um, I'm going to butcher what this is called. Cogarty Franca birds. It's really pretty. Again, fairly big, 149 by 137. Um, but her designs are really like quick to stitch because the way that they're charted is so nice. Um, I want to change the colour of the background and I'm thinking I kind of want to use some of that blue spruce that I've used because I've got a big piece um, after I cut off the piece I needed for the swan. Um, so I kind of want to stitch it on that and then I might just change this to a different, these to a different blue. 
because I think like the um, birds and the gold and everything would really pop on that. So that might be what I do. But yeah, so that was another purchase this month. Hope my husband don't watch this. <laughs> um, and last pattern that I bought is, oh, so the lovely Yaz, as I say, I'm a member of her um, Patreon and she does a giveaway every month. And I won this month. Um, and it was £25 Etsy voucher. So just, just, I'd like to clarify that I didn't, This some of this was with vouchers. So it makes it completely justifiable. Anyway, so with that, I bought these next three things. So um, this is a new to me designer, but I love everything she's got on there. The Little Stitcher. And this is Blessed Be. So pretty. She's got loads of bee stuff on her Etsy. Um, loads, I don't know, maybe four or five, maybe at least five different patterns, all bee related in these sort of colours. And it was really tough to pick which one, but I'm, I'm going, I went for this one in the end because I love that it's got the three pieces. And I love the whole blessed bee. It's kind of like moon and witchy plus the bees. So that's like two of my favourite things combined. So I absolutely love that. I'm not sure what I'm going to start first. I might do the little this little small one first. Don't know. Um, so I got that one. Um, so thank you, Yaz. I instantly put that voucher to good use. Um, and then I've got some 28 count Swigart taupe to stitch it on. And then this, oh my God, so, so cute. Oh, I'm just going to make sure I get the lady's name right, Who where I got this from. Oh, the taupe was from uh, Stitch Tastic, by the way, which were really quick. Like, if you want fabric and stuff, I really recommend Stitch Stitch Tastic. They were super quick. Right, so this is from Creations by Carol GB on Etsy, and it's a new little thread bed, and I love it so much. It's so pretty. It's like perfect size for like storing your threads. It's got a lovely little popper, and it's got bees, more bees. Look at this bee, I love it so much. Um, really reasonable price, like, and really beautifully made. Like, the stitching and is just absolutely perfect. And she had quite a few. So, if you're in the market for a new thread bed, um, then I highly recommend uh, Creations by Carol GB on Etsy, and she's on Instagram as well. Um, but I'll definitely be going back for more because. I love them. And I think for certain projects, I do I do like using floss organisers. Um, and I do also, I kind of do a mixture. Sometimes I use a floss organiser. Sometimes I use, um, I just keep them on uh, uh, spools or sometimes I use these. Um, these are particularly good if you've got so much changing of thread all the time. So I just basically, whatever threads I'm using, I keep them all out, swirl them up stick them on here and then I can just really quickly change whenever I want to change floss. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be going back for more because these, as I say, really reasonable price, really beautifully made. Um, and I love it so much. So that was what my voucher went on. So thank you for that, Yaz. And thank you to these lovely people for making such beautiful things. So that's all my haul. Where are we at? 53 minutes. Oh my gosh, sorry. Um, so, uh, giveaway, yes, giveaway. Oh, one other thing actually, that tiny bit of cotton and clay promo. Um, this is our cotton and clay needle minder of the month, this little shamrock. Um, so this is actually only five, so every month I'm doing a needle minder, um, of the month for only five pounds, um, with free UK delivery. Uh, I send them anywhere, but the delivery is free in the UK. Uh, five pounds only and I know St Paddy's Day is over but um, we're going with uh, we're I'm keeping this in my shop until the very end of so midnight on the 31st of March does the 31st of March exist yes <laughs> so, midnight on the 31st of March um, you can get this one for only five pounds it's a green with like a shimmery I use a mica powder on it and then a gloss um, so you get this beautiful shimmery, shimmery shamrock. Um, so that one's only a fiver at the moment. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. 
Um, but yeah, giveaway. So for those who don't know, I didn't see my previous video. Um, I've got a um, small business where I make um, cross stitch accessories from polymer clay. Um, so you can find me on Instagram, Cotton and Clay UK. Um, and you can also then find my Etsy shop. Um, so I'm doing a little giveaway of some stitchy stash. Uh, so to enter, um, just put a comment down below. Um, if you need a prompt, maybe who's your favorite designer at the moment? Because clearly I need to do more shopping. Um, <laughs> so yeah, comment below and everyone who comments, I'm going to put in a random uh, bucket and pick out a name for the next video. And the prize is because it's spring, I'm going to give away this little set. So it's a tulip needle minder. Super cute. Um, and then a matching tulip floss drops. Uh, you get 15 of these little cards and it has a little oops, little star charm as well. And then this one is actually brand new. It's not even in my Etsy shop yet. Just made them. Uh, it's the same colours, so I figured it kind of goes as a set, which is a new scissor fob. So it's got a little heart lobster clasp at the top. These have got, again, with the mica powder, so they're all shimmery, shimmery pink marble. And then... A cute little ladybug, ladybird at the bottom. So um, to win these or have a chance to win these three bits of stash, um, just put a comment down below and uh, I'll put everyone who comments into a hat and pick a winner next month. Um, yeah, so thank you. Um, I think that's it. We're going to wrap up in an hour. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, thank you again so much to everyone who um, watched the last video, who subscribed. Special thanks to those lovely ladies who gave me a shout out on their own channels. Special thanks to anyone who gave um, my Floss Tube a shout out on Instagram or anywhere else as well. Like, so grateful. Um, so happy to be doing this. Can't wait to do the next video. It's really helping motivate me because I'm like, oh, I'm going to stitch loads more so I can show it on my next floss tube. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you again so much. And I'll see you in about a month. And um, yeah. Oh, and uh, what am I supposed to say? Oh yeah. So if you want to find me, <laughs> I'm such a professional. Um, so yeah, my handles. Um, if you want to follow my stitching um, on Instagram, where I'm, which is where I'm most active, I'm Butterfly Stitches 83. Um, and if you want to find my small business, I'm Cotton underscore and underscore Clay UK on Instagram, um, or just follow the link in this video. Um, and I'll put everything I've talked about, I will put down below in the description as well. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Lots of love. Bye.